Chop, chop, chop the roof and let the smoke clear. I got diamonds to win to see slides in both ears. Dice rolling on the Las Vegas trip tonight. Slip that on and we might miss the fight. Fuck a night, I keep the koala in my shorty bag. You know she want a mama, she tattooed that ass. I'm a lover boy, she got her toys. Keep it coming, you a rider. This that roll myself with Jay and count my figure shit. This that stepping out, I feel like I'm that nigga shit. I drop 30 on this room, we ain't gon' sleep for shit. If I catch you not enough, then it's gon' be some shit. Hey guys, welcome to the Philippines wedding vlog. I am literally so excited. Actually, kind of not excited because I'm about to be on a 16 hour flight. So I don't know how I'm gonna survive that, but I'm gonna be landing in Tokyo and we're gonna be there for 15 hours. So I'm gonna try to explore Tokyo. And then another five hour flight to Manila in the Philippines. And then another three hour, no, sorry. I think it's an hour or two hour flight in the Philippines from Manila to Ayokos, I think it's called, um, where Camila is getting married. And Camila is already there, she's already like settled in and everything, she's been there for a couple days now, so um, yeah, thank God I'm traveling with two of her bridesmaids, April and Samantha, that you guys saw in the Bachelorette vlog. Um, so I won't be going alone, thank God, otherwise I don't know if I'd really make it there. And um, yeah, I wouldn't be comfortable leaving the Tokyo airport if I wasn't with anyone else. So I feel a lot better that I'm traveling with other people. So yeah, I'm actually just waiting for them right now. I have my big suitcase and my little suitcase. That's, my little suitcase is my carry-on and then I have a bag as well. Because I've just packed so many things to do. I don't know what I'm going to do for this 16-hour flight. Like, it's actually stressing me out. Like, I'm going to go insane, I think. So yeah anyways it's definitely gonna be quite the trip and obviously you guys are coming along with me so yeah let's see <laughs> All getting ready right now <laughs> Sorry. um our flight wasn't that bad though it like actually went by a lot better than i thought it would it was technically 13 hours yeah 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 well, not even not even 16 i thought it was 16 but it was actually 14 but it turned out to be 13 so it wasn't that bad i slept for like most of it because i took those melatonin gummies and then i read my book for a while and that's all i really did and yeah we just got to tokyo it's currently 6.39 p.m. in Tokyo. Wow. Like, crazy. Because we left Toronto at 1 p.m. And we've been in this, like, plane. Yeah, we're going to go explore Tokyo and try to go out as long as we can. And then our flight's at 9 a.m. to go to Manila. So, yeah. I'll keep you guys updated. I'm trying to do this fit check, but I feel like everybody in the airport is going to stay at me, so I'm probably going to stop now.
Hey guys, so we're currently having dinner with the Tokyo Skyline. And yeah, we had a really good dinner. Now we're gonna go explore Tokyo. Literally at, I think it's like 11 o'clock right now. But we're gonna go see the world. Oh, we're in Shibuya, by the way. So we took two trains to get here. Escalators everywhere and it's like upstairs and it reminds me of being in Vegas But maybe that's because I was in Vegas literally a year ago today, so that could be part of it we're going to like a street market now. We're trying to find some snacks. We didn't get that full at dinner on purpose so that we could eat more. Hey guys, so we're currently sitting in a McDonald's that's like being renovated, but we really needed to use the washer. So yeah, that's why we're here. It's not even open, but we, we met some people in Tokyo that have invited us to this nightclub thing. So we might go see what's going on over there. Or we might just continue roaming the streets of Tokyo. I don't know. We're gonna see what the vibes Hey guys, we're at um, an authentic Tokyo restaurant eating ramen. And oh yeah, we're making a mukbang. So yeah, you guys get a lot of content today. <laughs> Hey guys, um, little life update. I'm back in the washroom again. It's currently 3.02 a.m. Tokyo time, and our flight's at nine. And I still have a couple things to do. I need to go get souvenirs for like my family and my friends. And yeah, we're just gonna sleep for a bit before the flight. This next flight is five hours, and it's taking us from Tokyo to Manila in the Philippines. And after that, I have one more flight. I can't even believe I'm saying that, bro. Like, this is actually crazy. But yeah, today was so fun. Literally roamed the streets of Tokyo for so long. And then we went and got a really nice dinner. We actually didn't think it was gonna be that nice, but this restaurant was really pretty. So we got dinner there. And um, I even forget the name. I think it was called Tapanyaki or something. And then we went from there to just like the main it's called shibuya that like main kind of intersection area and then we just explored there and you guys saw everything it was so pretty and then we went to the club it was so random we didn't plan to go to the club but this guy came up to us and he gave us like one of those tickets for the club and he's like yeah come so we were like shit we have nothing else to do it was like midnight so we went to the club and it was definitely an experience i can definitely check it off my bucket list but I, I, the music you listen at, the music you listen to at the club really makes a difference. So yeah, I really didn't know any of the music, so that kind of sucked. Let me flip the camera. Oh, yeah, I was trying to talk to you through the mirror. But yeah, Sam and April are in the other washroom right now. I'm um, just changing. I just changed back into my airport outfit. I'm gonna wash off my makeup and then yeah, try to sleep for a bit. Oh my god, I can't believe I have two more flights still. Like, one thing I have learned from this trip is that time is not a real thing. Time is not a real thing at all. Because I left Canada at 1pm. 
My flight was like 14, 13 hours. We got here at like 6 p.m. Now it's 3 a.m. But it all feels like the same day to me. So I'm kind of, kind of confused about that. But why is the lighting so shit? Literally my whole life is like in this washroom right now. But can we talk about the washrooms in Tokyo? What the fuck? Look how many different options there are. But look, the bidet's spraying right now. I didn't even tell him to spray and it sprayed. <sighs> okay, anyways, I'll see you guys soon. I'm ready to take a nap. Mm, hi vlog. I lost my wallet somewhere in the Tokyo airport. I don't know where. I have been crying for like the last hour. So if I seem a little off, that's why. And we're about to board in like half an hour, so it's too late to go back to security to find if it's in, I think I left it in the washroom. Cause when we came back from like exploring Tokyo, we went into the washroom to change back into our regular clothes. And I feel like it's there somewhere, but thank God I still have my money and I still have my passport. So it's not the end of the world. And yeah, I still have two more flights to go today, so that's gonna be great. Hey guys, just landed in Manila. Two flights down, I went to go. I feel a lot better. Um, I think crying definitely helped. So now I just, I'm grateful that my passport is still here. Because if my passport wasn't here, oh my god, my skin is getting so dry from all these flights. But yeah, if my passport was in here, we would have bigger issues. Um, on this flight, me, April, and Samantha were all separated. So I'm literally waiting outside of the catwalk. The plane catwalk for them, praying they come out. Because I was like seat 20 and they, I think they were seat 30. So I think they were behind me, but I don't know. Um, oh, also, I just want to say... I did not lose my wallet in Tokyo, okay? I lost at the airport, so we came back. We changed out of our outfits from like the skirt outfit I was wearing back into my tracksuit. And I remember taking my wallet, and I paid for my like luggage, baggage claim thing. So that's how I know it was there when I came back. And then we changed into our tracksuits, and since then I haven't been able to find it. So I don't know if I lost in the washroom, or if it just like fell out of my bag, or if somebody went into my bag, like, I don't know. But, yeah, I thought it was the end of the world, deadass. But it's not the end of the world, kind of. I just have a lot of shit to do when I get back to Canada. I have to go get a bunch of driver's license, health card. I canceled all my credit cards and my debit cards. I hate doing that shit. But, yeah, I'll update you guys. My next flight is in, oh, my God, like five hours. Ugh. Crying helped me sleep on the last one though, so we'll see how this one goes. This next flight is only like an hour, so it shouldn't be the end of the world. Okay, first of all, I am friggin' sweating bullets right now. Second of all, I just got to the sec this terminal two at the airport in Manila. And why is this outside? Like it's literally like a mall, like hold on. Let me show you. Like, there's like souvenir shops and food and like all this stuff. I, I think I'm just in shock because I've never seen an outdoor airport. Um, and also, I don't like traveling alone. I'm scared, guys. <laughs> like, literally. Like, like, this one guy came up to me. When I came out of the terminal, one, and he's like, I was like, I need to get to terminal two. They told me there's a shuttle bus. And he's like, it's okay, yeah, I'll take you. I was like, okay. And I'm like, wait, you're not wearing, you're not from the airport, are you? He's like, no, I'm a taxi driver. I'm like, bro, I need to go on the shuttle bus. Hi friends. We are at the gate 
waiting to board. You know what I was thinking about? I think this long, I mean, this long, this vlog is gonna be really long because I've been vlogging a lot and also I spent like three days traveling just to get to the Philippines. Isn't that crazy? I'm actually like so tired of traveling at this point. I went to um, this, I don't even know if you can hear me. I went to this French food place and I got truffle carbonara. And I know that doesn't make sense because I'm in the Philippines, but I think I'm going to be eating Filipino food all week, so I might as well just eat pasta for now. Let's do a little taste test. This is what it looks like. I love truffle, so that's why I got it. My hair is looking so bad. It's starting to get oily. My skin is not liking this plain energy. Oh, it's actually... It's actually smells really good, guys. This is what it looks like. Also, day three, day four of being weed sober. Oh, actually no. I took edibles. That's kind of what helped me sleep sleep as well. The melatonin plus like the edibles. I was like, I was, like out like a light. <laughs> but yeah, I haven't smoked technically in like four days, and I don't even like feel like I'm craving it, which is good. Miguel's gonna come to the airport to pick me up. This flight, she said it's only 45 minutes to an hour, so it shouldn't be terrible. So I'll fly, land in Ilocos, Ilocos, I don't remember how to say it. And then Camille's gonna pick me up from there, take me to the hotel, and then we're just gonna chill at the hotel. Probably gonna be like 8, 9 p.m. by the time I got there. Guys! Look guys, Camille brought me tequila. <laughs> Whoa. I'm okay. So pretty. Hi. Oh, you pre-ordered? So cool. You want to have a Filipino breakfast? Yeah. Okay. Can you do the same one? Yeah. Okay, okay. cool. Same one. Oh, you want to have rice tomorrow morning? Yeah. Wow, guys, so pretty. Oh, so pretty. Oh my god. Oh my god, we're in paradise. We woke up in paradise. Like, it's so pretty. Look at it. Wait, why am I holding it like this? It's so pretty. The beach is like right there. That it, like this place gives like private villa vibes. Look, there's like a little waterfall over there. What the heck? We're gonna go clear kayaking today. This is the lobby. I'm really just walking around here. Like I didn't just wake up. I haven't even brushed my teeth yet. Then you like cross here, and then you have breakfast there, and then the beach is right there. Oh my god, this place is so pretty. What the fuck? And it's so hot. Like, I'm not freezing. I'm so happy. Look, I even did heatless curls last night. Last night we just like took a couple shots and then I was out like a light. Me and Camille are sleeping in here. She is not staying with her husband yet until the night of their wedding. We have breakfast at eight, so we're getting ready. Damn guys, that was fun. That's like the prettiest beach I've ever seen. The water is so clear. It didn't get deep until it didn't even get deep. We went so far in and it didn't even get deep. Hey guys, we're chilling at the pool. 
We just finished playing volleyball, I guess. Was it volleyball? <laughs> Gavin's learning how to swim. <laughs> this is the best matcha I've ever had in my life. It's so good. It's a matcha frappuccino. We're gonna um, get kind of cute and then go in the kayak, take some pics. It's only like noon, no, 11 a.m. 11 a.m. My phone keeps overheating. I dropped my vape in the pool, so that was good. I'm hoping this water, I went, when we went to the beach, I put a bunch of the salt water on my face, so I hope it's gonna clear my skin up a bit. But we'll see. Look at Gavin! He's out of breath. <laughs> We just finished packaging up all the giveaway bags. There's literally 93 here, but we still have to do 50 more. But we ran out of ribbon. We get more ribbon tomorrow. Yeah, it's my YouTube, you wanna come? It's our new friend, she's helping us. <laughs> hey! Okay, it's easy. I have no coordination. <laughs> okay, we're going down now. I'm gonna walk, guys. <laughs> oh, shoot. There's a lot going on here. You can do your TikTok. Yeah. Oh, is it chocolate milk? Yeah. Guys, we're at 7 Eleven in the Philippines. I didn't even know they had 7 Eleven. Let's show them. Look at all the ramen flavors. I want it. <laughs> but it's too spicy. Oh, I love the spicy one. I've never seen any of these brands. Even the drinks look different. I've never seen these drinks before. Look at that thing over there. What is that? Wait, do they sell alcohol at 7-Elevens here? What? In Canada, we don't get that. Okay, we have Gatorade. That's the only thing I see. Wait, what'd you say? Oh. Good morning, guys. Welcome to... <laughs> Welcome to... What day is it? Day three? Basically, it's the day before the wedding. That's all that really matters. I can't see anything, it's so bright. We're about to go for breakfast. Um, the views are immaculate. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, then we're gonna jump into the beach again, I think. I think that's gonna be our little routine. Get a little okay, walk in and then jump into the water. I don't know why I'm wearing a sweater. 24 hours. To the big day. Tomorrow we have to wake up really, really, really early. So we can get ready on time. What is it called again? Tosselo. Tosselo. And yours is? Oh. Is this beef? <laughs> or is this pork? I don't even know this is pork. I didn't know that. Oh gosh, can't see it. Hey guys. Oops, we did it again. <laughs> we hopped in the water with our clothes on. I got salt water in my eye. I can't open it right now. And my hair got wet. So today is a hair wash day. Oh, look. Oh my God, it's so like... It's holding so much water. Because of all the tapes. Today is wedding rehearsal day, so... Oh my God, there's a crab. I see the crabs go into the hole. It's hole? There's yeah. holes everywhere where the crabs live here. Do they eat lunch at the same time as us? Crabs? Yeah. Or like animals. I think they hunt. Yeah. They can only eat when they can. Scarcity mindset. <laughs> oh, I just saw another crab. Where do we live again? <laughs> Somewhere there. <laughs> How are you? Hey guys, I'm a hair time. I just did a oh, okay. it's really oh yeah, I am. I'm more nervous, but yeah. We have a vlogger. Yeah, I'm vlogging. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. We're on the way to pick up okay. Samantha and Amy. We're gonna be all together again. Tatawa kang kanamin. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Okay. Approve your hair Look better? No, it doesn't. It doesn't look better. It looks fine. Okay, it's just loose. But it's fine. I am so dark. <laughs> you can see the difference in the. So, like, you look dark compared to like that tip that line. Yeah, like look in the camera. It's like two layers. Okay. Anyways, wanted to show you guys. Look, there's a cow. This is what the roads look like. I want to go on one of those. I'm headed for nothing, no turn into something from then. Made it through property, on our minority, you never start. Hop on a jet on my property and fly away. Fly, fly, fly away. I'm in prison, yeah, yeah. Straight out of the trenches, yeah, yeah. My niggas can't whip me, yeah, yeah. The richest, the richest, the richest, yeah. Rich niggas out on seats, yeah. All of these hoes can't wait, yeah. All tomorrow we get a JV, yeah, yeah, yeah. I try to fight She think it's something got to do with her mama while well, I can't love her Like she needs me That's what you do Okay, we just did the most work ever We're all sweating But we finished all the gift pack Hey guys, dinner on me tomorrow Okay guys, we're practicing the wedding rehearsal Why is this pimple so big? We have everybody lined up Okay, they would tell us when to go Okay. Now they go back down. It's where we're going for dinner. We have the bride to be and the groom. We just finished the wedding rehearsal. This is our post wedding rehearsal dinner. Tonight we have to make sure Camille and Gavin don't see each other until the wedding day. Like tomorrow, we have to hide them from each other while they're getting ready. I mean, they have different rooms, but still. Oh, the lighting got good. Oh, hey. <laughs> How Camille took over the entire restaurant. Like, this is all Camille's family. Look at the food. Like, we just sat down, they already brought us. I can't look at the food because I'm going to eat it. Don't eat I know. Can somebody explain to me why I grew an enormous pimple? Where did this come from? I'm pissed. So Camille, how do you feel? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys gotta be ready by 8 to start getting ready. Yeah. What are you talking about? Wait, what? The videographers are coming at 8. Oh, we have to be presentable by eight. Yeah. Like showered and shit. The beach, guys. Yeah, hey, right. We're just tanning. Yeah, I know. Twin, we're happy. <laughs> we're both. Right. I'm making a vlog as well. <laughs> Alright, sorry, I'm just taking pictures. Oh wow, it looks so good. The dress. <laughs> okay, so it's currently 9.43 a.m. Got the videographer. It's like, who's both videographing? 
Um, I'm just gonna show you what the hall looks like right now because they're decorating it and it looks so good. Wait, let me flip the camera. Sorry, I'm just taking a video. I was gonna say, Camille and Gavin, they're just finishing that off. There's Samantha and April. There's Gavin and the best man. That's one of Camille's uncles. Who's taken over the whole resort, basically. Okay, first, shot o'clock. Shot o'clock, <laughs> don't be mistaken by the teacup. Yeah, <laughs> it's literally a shot. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Cheers to your wedding day! Sitting on the grass, laying side by side. You could be my baby. Let me make you my lady. Girl, you amaze me. Ain't gotta do nothing crazy. See, all I want you to do is be my love. So don't give away. My love. So don't give away. My love. So don't give away. And another woman that can take your spot, my love. So don't give away. My love. Hey guys, oh my god, what the fuck? Okay, today has been a lot. So we did Camille's hair. I mean, I did Camille's hair and her makeup, but the hair did not stay. But thankfully, there's a hairdresser here that was able to fix it. Her makeup came out pretty good, I think. Um, my hair, I don't know what the fuck is going on with this. Like, it's giving very voluminous. I should have taken out the heatless curls earlier. But at least it's curled. Everybody else, we're all putting on our robes, our bridesmaid robes. We have to go take pictures. I'll show you. You look so good. Oh, they're filming all her stuff. Yeah, she's just doing the stuff Gavin was doing earlier. But yeah, we'll update you later. Okay, guys, you have to show them my hair and makeup. Ah! Oh my god. Is it good? <laughs> is my face good? Yeah, no, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is okay, guys. We're headed to go take our bridesmaid pictures. Don't ask me about my hair. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> excited to be married? I'm so excited. Can you see the excitement in my face? <laughs> it's been a long day, okay? We've been very stressed. But everything is coming together very beautifully. So, it'll be good. In two hours, Can you go tiger, you I'm going to be married. I'll show you the clip after. Looks very Hollywood-esque. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I'm putting things away. You say nothing's wrong at all. That we fall in love late. Maybe we just ain't been on the same page. In my mind, I'm done fighting. In your heart, you keep trying. And the truth is not hiding. That's just the way we are. But can't say you love me when it's like that. Can't say I love you when it's like that. If it was new, it won't be like that. To everybody else, it wouldn't show me back But I love when we make up like that And you love it when I make you mad But maybe we just love like that Yeah, maybe we just love like that Sometimes I don't want you around You do something to make me smile And it's hard for me to try to doubt this feeling Yeah, we could just walk away yeah, we could just stay away The things I love about you I can't change No, 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 no Everybody else, I 
just so be mad But I love when we make up like that And you love it when I make you mad But maybe we just love like that Yeah, maybe we just love like that
for having me in my life. You've been the best thing that ever happened to me. My life is mine. Happy, excited to do all the little things you do. I just want you to be yourself and be happy. Everyone think the wedding went? Oh, the wedding was fantastic. Yeah, yeah, good. Everybody happy? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Beautiful Are the bride and groom um, satisfied? Setting. Even better than you imagined? I, I think it was even better than I imagined, honestly. It came out really well. You might have and I love how everything was close by. Because you were marrying Kevin. Yeah, <laughs> literally. The priest kept saying Kevin. The first Rufla. Rufla. <laughs> How is it pronounced? Rufla. 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 Rufla.
midnight. You only have like one day. I only have one more day. Sure. I do. I was looking at some like rooftop patios. In you know, Manila, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, people were sleeping on the beach last night. Yeah, I know. I've done that before. We should have done that yesterday. Too. We should have done that yesterday. Oh no, the crabs. Yeah, the we caught a crab yesterday. Yeah, we called. Well, you called him Frankie. Yeah. Do you want to see a picture of her? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is a crazy picture. Actually, you guys wait till you see a video of her rolling in the sand at night. <laughs> I just got a little excited. <laughs> this is me and the crab. I can't believe I held it. Oh, this is the family up for here. Oh, you guys get to see Camille's family's house. Woo -woo. So pretty. It's actually like a really big house. Like it's like how many rooms? Like ten? Still like so bare. I'm sorry. Where is everyone now? Probably out somewhere. Probably. I think the wedding cake. Oh my gosh, my feet. My body is in so much pain. Oh yeah. I'm pooped. What's the plan, Sam? Oh, are we eating here? Oh, Camille, it's wrapped up in a banana leaf. What's that? Some kind the Mary, of the newlyweds. <laughs> okay, so Camille, what's this? Adobo. Sticky rice. What's chicken? Um, some type, of, I don't know, chicken. Pork? The same thing, adobo. Uh, pork. Good. And adobo. what's inside this the banana adobo. leaf? This one adobo. Is... This one's good. Oh, oh that one's good. This one's good. Uh, that's a this is chicken. This is chicken or pork? Yeah, chicken. chicken. Okay, so grab, yeah, so grab it. We'll open it. Yeah, open it. I don't want seaweed. I think I'm good. Try the seaweed. You might like it. Here. Yeah, with tomato. You can try that. Too. I want That one's good. <laughs> See, seaweed, yeah. Oh my like, god, it's good. It looks like an amoeba. <laughs> it's soft water seaweed. It tastes like the ocean. Great. Does it? Uh, yeah, it does. It does. It tastes like the ocean. It's really nice, isn't it? Yeah. There's some ocean seaweed. Yeah, you can put that on. <laughs> I already know what it tastes like. It tastes like... No, you don't. It's sea salt. Yeah, she does. It's when she drank the oh, sea salt Oh, you know what the sea tastes like? Mm. Yeah, she's familiar. Yeah, I like the adobo. Almost like a curry. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me try the chicken. I think we ate a whole pig by this time. Uh, I think so. Whole what? Yeah, we probably did. Yeah. You got a piece of pepper over there? Where? This pepper? Yeah. Yeah, let me try it. Okay. Make sure you have so, wait, how do you do it? You just okay. bite it first? No, no, no. You put, the food, you put the food first. Okay, put in my potato? mouth? Yeah. Okay, okay. Use the potato. Okay, okay. Yeah. You cut it in half. And then. Bite the tip of the pepper. Put some rice, a little bit of rice. Okay, hold on, hold on, I got this, I swear. You okay, can do like a, put it in my mouth? Yeah, and then you bite the, like a piece of it. Like, At the, the very end, like a small no, no, piece? No, not a small piece, like a decent. Like a half of this? Not a half. half okay. Half. okay. Just, okay. yeah, like a quarter. <laughs> mm -hmm. Put a pepper now. There you go, perfect. perfect. Yeah, That's perfect. Now. Chew up everything. <laughs> 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 that was too funny. No, it's still in my mouth. <laughs> eat some more food. This some is more like food. this. This helps you to eat faster. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm about to be sweating. <laughs> Where's the potato? Is it that hot? <laughs> it's like something I didn't expect. Like it's spice. Like it's true spice. You know? It's an adrenaline rush. <laughs> I want to finish it. That's a feeling. Better than good? Better than that. Mm -hmm. Oh, cook it all. I got beef, cook it mess that eat. How is it going, Jasmine? She's gonna eat a piece more. She's gonna put it one up to eat a piece more, guys. Gavin, eat three. I ate two already. I'd like to pick more. Adobo. It's good. I'm so you, 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 this morning, you show me thing and said, I'm gonna eat rice, 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 r
guys, we're leaving. This is the bus that we're taking. He was literally crying. She hasn't seen any of her cousins in 10 years until now. Oh, bye. Bye bye. bye. We're getting in the bus now. Here we go. I'm gonna start crying. Like, no. You could see I was doing pretty good though. <laughs> okay, bye. Look at the mountains, guys. This is the Philippines. <laughs> wow. So pretty. Wow. We are currently on our, what hour? Two? Hour two of our seven hour bus ride. There's Camille and Gavin. There's me, Mom and Dad. There's Swiss. Grandma and Auntie. Um, I'll let you guys know how this goes. I hope uh, we all make it there by today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go again. When Spanish people took over the Philippines, they left this beautiful street. I think. I don't know. Ha! She said, I think. I don't know. Oh my god, there's a horse. I said five in the morning. I wake up to five on my eyes. Yeah, in my mind is a warning. Praying to the one you're relying. I've been wandering all day. Tried to be fine, but I can't be. The noise in my mind will leave me. Tried to get by, but I'm burning. I'm behind. My mind is right. All these thoughts I'm troubling. Starting to give up my pain. Starting to be on my Hey guys, it's 2 a.m. It's actually 2.41 a.m. We just got to the hotel. Oh, this is Manila! It's so pretty! Look over there. Camille says that Manila is like downtown. Everyone's exhausted. Talk to you tomorrow. Last, last, last. Let everybody go to breakfast. Shayo. Shayo. You go out for the result. Nothing to discuss. Cause I did my life. Fault. I'm without any doubt. I'm a me happy adult. I know go feed the girl. I know go feed the girl. It's out. I'm a mind as you can talk. I put my life into my job. And I know I'm in trouble. She manipulate my love. I know holy. And I know that I'm careful. That I'm bad. Then kill so bomba Are they shadow by moto or Toyota Corolla Five feelings when they swing like Django Lova Feelings when they Okay guys You like it right? Mm -hmm. It's my last drink Until I go on the plane Alone <laughs> I know <laughs> This is good though, it's a mojito and a lychee It actually tastes really good I forget what it was called I drink it without the alcohol Well I'm not ready to leave I'm not ready to go back to reality Oh my god Class, and then that course in teaching, and work. I have a five hour flight. I land in Tokyo at 6 a.m. Tokyo time at one airport. Then I have to take another bus ride, which is an hour. 
to the Haneda Airport, where, which is where I lost my wallet. So I'm going to check if they have it at the Lost and Found. But I have a 12-hour layover in Tokyo again. And then I have a 12-hour flight back to Toronto. So, yeah. Pray for me. Let's just pray I get on the flight to Toronto because going from one airport to the next airport is like the hardest part for me right now. I have to take a shuttle bus and then like find the terminal and then I don't know, me and I just haven't traveling halfway across the world alone is a little bit scary. Thank you, sir. I'll talk to you guys when I'm at the airport. Vlog. I'm back in Tokyo. I don't think you can tell, but it's raining here. I just landed and I'm in a bus right now because I landed at the Narita airport and I need to be at the Haneda airport, but I have a 12 hour layover, so this is a two hour bus ride to the Haneda airport. And then I have a 12 hour layover and then a 12 hour flight. And I know you guys probably don't even care at this point, so I don't even blame you if you stop watching the video now. But I'm just so fucking nervous I'm not making it. <laughs> so I'm just vlogging this whole experience. Um, in case something crazy happens, I don't know. But I think everything should be fine. I'm praying when I go back to the Haneda airport they found my wallet. But I'm not trying to get my hopes too high because it's probably gone. Uh, what else? I just did the five hour flight from Manila to Tokyo. That wasn't bad. I was asleep for most of the time. I had nobody sitting beside me and I had a window seat, so that was good. I'm currently reading this book and I am hooked. I have like this much left. And then I have the second one. So I should be good for the next couple of hours. <laughs> But um, I'm gonna keep you guys updated and let you know. Yeah. Guys, you're not gonna believe this. First of all, does this bathroom look familiar? This is how you know I'm back at Haneda Airport in Tokyo. So yeah, I took the shuttle bus here. And the first thing I did was I went to the information desk and asked if they found my wallet. And they did. Like, what? They actually found it. But it's at the police station. So I have to take a taxi to the police station now, which is okay because my layover, I still have like eight hours, I think, or six hours or something. So I'm gonna change, brush my teeth, you know, freshen up, go to the police station, get my wallet. This is such an experience. Like, obviously, I would lose my friggin' wallet in Tokyo. Like, what? I already canceled all my cards and everything too, but still, it's still a it's still a good thing because I would have to get a new driver's license, health card, like all the other stuff. So I'm still happy. The only other thing I'm not sure about is if they actually have the Prada card holder. She just showed me a bunch of pictures of like the actual cards in it. So I feel like if somebody found it, they probably took the card holder. But we're gonna we're gonna hope that's not the case. Yeah, I think they took the card holder. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm gonna get ready and keep you guys updated. Right now, hold on, let me see if I'm... 10.05 a.m., my flight is at 6 p.m. Is it actually at 6 p.m.? Wow, that's so far. Yeah, I'm thinking of going to get the wallet and then sightsee and then come back, so that'll give me something to do. Yeah, keep it updated. Talk to you soon. <laughs> mm, guys, I want to start crying. It's raining outside and I'm cold. And everybody I ask questions to speak Japanese. I don't understand. I've been directed like five different directions to this police station. I, they told me to take the shuttle from Terminal 3 to Terminal 2. So, and then they said the police station was like right beside it, like a two minute walk. I've been walking for so long. My nose is so cold. I want to cry. I don't know where the fuck this police station is. I went to another one that said police station. Like, how many police stations can you have at a fucking airport? What the fuck? Uh, 
I should have just, I tried to take the taxi too. And when I asked to go on the taxi, they said they don't know. I don't know what they said to be honest, but I think they said they don't know what I'm talking about. So, I hope this is it. Somebody said it's this building, but like, this doesn't look like a police station. Okay, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna talk to you later when I'm, when I, I don't know what I'm gonna talk to you, bye. Okay. Airport, but I got all my cards back. There's no card holder, unfortunately, but that's okay. I can always buy that back. There's my, like my driver's license was there, my health card, both my credit cards, both my debit cards, <clears throat> my school ID. Like so many things that would have just taken so much time to get back. So I'm really thankful. I'm really thankful I can get all that back really fast. I got all that back. Um, I ran back to the airport. And I got a taxi. I'm gonna go to that place me, Samantha, and April were at, and we had dinner. It's called Scrambled Square. It's in Shibuya, I think. And um, they had like a skyline view. Um, but we couldn't go see it because it was nighttime. But now it's daytime, so I hope I can go see that. And then, yeah, I'm just trying to kill some time, honestly. It's only 11.30 in the morning. Flight is at 7 p.m. So, like 6:55. So, I'm gonna back. I'm gonna try to be back for 3 p.m. Um, really happy I got everything back though. That was like stressing me out the entire trip, um, like in the Philippines and stuff. So, it's <sighs> a relief. dishes and dumplings and that's how I was feeling because if you remember I was freezing I should have brought a jacket but I didn't pack any jackets because you know I was going to the Philippines so yeah I just thought I needed like a soup kind of dish and then I was craving dumplings so that's how I ended up here yeah I feel like everybody is here like not only am I like the only brown person here not even brown person like brown girl here um I pulled up my vlog camera, so I feel like I'm just staring at me. But, um, gotta do what you gotta do. Like, I'm literally just sitting here thinking about how blessed I am. Because, like, how am I right now eating lunch in Tokyo, halfway across the world? Like, they found my wallet. Like, I just. It doesn't seem real sometimes. This whole like, week has not seemed real, but um, this definitely tops it. <laughs> I, I just need to think back to this moment and those times when I'm like being really hard on myself where I think shit can go that way. Like, I just need to remember moments like this. So, I'm li I literally just have my AirPods in and I'm listening to music and I'm just like, wow, this is crazy. Like, I have no more Wi-Fi, so they have like an hour limit on Wi-Fi here, so. Yeah, I'm just with my thoughts, but in a good way, you know? <laughs> Okay guys, back in my favorite washroom. This disability washroom and me go together real bad. Like, oh, real bad. So I just washed off my makeup. Tell me why I was literally falling asleep in the- Not falling asleep, I, I fell asleep. Like, I went to bed just now and woke up while the Uber was driving. Coming back here, because there was so much traffic, it took so long for us to get back. Don't worry, I just washed my face, my hands are clean. Um, but yeah, also I got my period. I'm really pissed about that. Because this 12 hour flight is about to, it was already unbearable. 
And now it's about to be just a little bit more unbearable. Day one of my period is usually the worst day because I get cramped, so. Yeah, that's gonna be great. But I'm exhausted. It's currently, currently 3.20, so I'm gonna go check in. And then hopefully not fall asleep before my flight because I'm so drained right now. But I'm excited because I'm starting the second book of A Court of, from The Court of Thrones. I'm starting the green one. I think it's called something Mist and Fury. The Court of Mist and Fury. So yeah, I'm really excited for that. That should keep me busy for a while. My hair just keeps getting tangled because of the rain and stuff. Yeah. Hey again. Finally about to board this flight. I have just been killing time, honestly. Um, I got, I checked in and everything, then I got more food. Cause I was like, you know, I usually don't like the airplane food. So if I want something hot and yummy, I should get it now. I got like a chicken sandwich that was not that good. It tasted a little raw, but Let's not think about that part, okay? Um, then I went to some souvenir shopping. Look what I got, guys. Hello, because remember I told you I lost my neck pillow? Let me open this up. Period. She's giving comfy. Oh, yeah. Oh, crap. Don't come out. Yeah, this is this is comfy. And then, it's a little haul now. I got this. I think it's called Miu Miu. I don't know. All I know is that it's pink and it's cute. And she's coming home with me. <laughs> and then I just got my parents like keychains because I didn't like they don't really have anything that my parents would like. I got this one for my mom. I got this one for my dad. This one's just really boring. It's just the Japan Japan flag. But um yeah. I got Josh a hat earlier when I came to Tokyo the first time, so good for that one. I'm just gonna buckle her up and um, yeah, we're gonna go on this flight. This is literally gonna be like a two hour vlog. I don't know, we're gonna see. But uh, I vlogged a lot, so got some good content. Yeah, this is actually such a good trip. Like to come halfway across the world for like my best friend's wedding, lose my wallet in Tokyo. Went to Manila. We went so many places. Like, this was fun. And you know what? I think I want a destination wedding now. Not that that's happening anytime soon, but uh, yeah. Yeah, thanks for sticking with me for the whole trip. Love you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next video.